So now let's see what have you thought about uh, the question number three. What feedback allows in a typical closed loop control? We uh, saw that the output is related to the three inputs, the reference, the disturbance and the noise. And then uh, the first uh, sentence is feedback allows to cancel the effect of the disturbance. Well, uh, this is the uh, output related to the disturbance. And as you can see, this is not zero. So only in some conditions is zero. So it's not fully cancelling the effect of the disturbance. Depends on GD and uh, G and K and so on. To behave independently of the model, we see that in the output the model G is uh, present. So uh, only in some uh, conditions, probably you remember that when K was very large, this uh, ratio was uh, 1. But in some other case, of course, uh, the model of the process influences the behavior of the output. Uh, to avoid the noise in the measurement signal, well, uh, here you can see that uh, the output is related to the noise by this re uh, relationship, this transfer function. And of course, uh, this is not uh, uh, zero. It could be even one or it could be any value between zero and one. So in general, this uh, uh, feedback doesn't allow to avoid the noise in the measurement signal. So the idea which is fully clear is that the feedback uh, is used to improve the stability of the control plant. We are never going to use a feedback to unstabilize a stable plant. So the correct answer is uh, feedback allows to improve the stability of the control plant. Thank you.